Wednesday morning, everybody. It is the uh, 10th of January. Uh, hopefully, yesterday went great. A uh, little shout out, uh, I forgot yesterday, was my one of my younger brother's birthdays. Um, so he was turned 51 yesterday. So happy birthday, Jim. I don't know what, what it was with my parents, but they clustered our birthdays. Um, there's a number of us born, there's seven of us. There's a number of us born in August, including two on one day, and then a couple born in January. The oddball one is born in March, so there you go. Uh, our gospel today is from Mark chapter 1, verses 29 through 39. And so continuation yesterday, see, remember he was teaching in synagogue. And it says he, after he leaves the synagogue, goes to Peter's house, there in Capernaum, heals the mother-in-law, and all these other people are brought to him and heals all of them. Then it says he gets up very early and he goes and prays. And then the disciples find him again and they want to bring him back. And he says, no, we've got to move on. He makes a decision uh, that they got to move on and preach the good news to other places. And that's what they do. So lots in here to catch. But what gets me is, again, is that he slipped away very early in the dawn, kind of like right now. Uh, and went to pray, that he had to pray, he wanted to pray. And then that's when he made that decision to uh, how his mission was going to go. He's going to go to all the villages, not just stay put. And it, it's a good challenge for me, uh, one, because I think I, I try to pray every day. and But sometimes, you know, there's this tendency for me, I get really busy. And my prayer life gets actually cut short. And it's not what I probably ideally would want it to be. So it's a good challenge for me. But it's also making decisions. Am I making decisions in prayer? Am I discerning in prayer uh, what I'm really called to do, like Jesus did? Um, or am I just kind of doing what the heart says? Or even just pure intellectually, what makes more logical sense? Well, what makes the greater sense sometimes that goes beyond my logic, especially my logic. So I think the, the challenge, what Jesus is kind of getting me today too, is, uh, yeah, decision-making prayer. Pray, Bob. And when you need to make those big decisions, take that to prayer. Think about it. Chew on it. Center yourself and make a, a good, the right decision. So that's mine. What's going to be yours? Okay, guys, enjoy the day. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you back here 